at these spawns, man, you never know what to expect. There you go. I saw that, right? Health bar. I hate when it does that. I don't know for you guys, but sometimes you drop down and even when you spam roll, you still get the long animation after you jump. It's quite annoying. Okay, my goal here is to go through them. So we have one dude on one side. And it worked. Come on, let's get the fuck out of there. That's Mongus. Careful. Mongus knows what he's doing. <laughs> Gesture out of menu though was so fitting. <laughs> oh, you should. should be. What happened? You just got blendered by the PvE. That's what happened, Mongus. PvE OP, man. That's what gank. That's what gankers fear the most. Fucking PvE. For good reasons. Also, um, having maps like this, where enemies spawn indefinitely, would definitely be a good thing toward balance if invasion works similarly. Because invasions always have a way to sort of counter their like them being outnumbered. But if the like if gankers want to focus on the invader, they don't have a choice but to deal with the extra PVE. But if the host wants to go through the level, I mean the invader guy has to chase him, so I think that would be a good thing toward balance. Do you have a parry shield? Yeah you do. Oh he's talking. What do we do here? Oh wow! Really? You get sent back home if he talks to him. Wow. I didn't even know that. I did not know that was a thing. Okay, well, I'll know now, I guess. 2021. That is stupid. Yeah, that is pretty dumb. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. No, I didn't know that. I don't invade there often, Big Daddy. Like, that's so funny. I could have killed him right there too. Like, <laughs> you've never seen that, yeah? I, I might have seen it once and I forgot though. That's funny. It only works for the first time. Ah, I got you. It's probably why we don't see it often makes sense really Miyazaki be like you paid for your DLC you get a free pass against this invader that's a good uh, good spell there Man, if cancels were not a thing, Poison Claymore would be so much better. Like, seriously. Like, for those of you who don't know, like, before cancels were even a thing, I was starting to experiment with Poison Claymore. And, uh... I kind of left it on ice, but 
looking back at it, I probably could have enjoyed it a bit more before, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, it's so close! No! <laughs> oh, he's not dead! Okay, he is. I thought he fell down the second floor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, Dark Souls 3 PvP uh, was in an okay place. Not the best possible spot, but before uh, Bow Glitch was a thing, there was not... Like, the most broken thing was Murky before Bow Glitch was a thing. So, like, aside from that, there was not, like, if there was, like, a last patch to patch Dark Souls 3, the game would be in a very good, very good place. And uh, if they have this sort of groundwork for Elden Ring, um, Elden Ring might be the, oh, actually, it's LX. LX is actually uh, another invader. And yeah, we're gonna, oh, he's there. All right, let's get it. Yeah, I don't mind going outside, honestly. I should have just went for it. I thought it would roll. mean to switch to Murky, it was just above the, uh, the fucking gun deer, unfortunately. Okay, but going back, the, uh, the question kind of uh, sparked my interest though. How many years will it take for Elden Ring to turn to cancer? Because uh, um, I don't know how much they paid attention to, you know, the state of Dark Souls 3, like, after their, the last patch, right? I don't actually know, like, how much they pay attention. Probably not at all, if I'm being serious. Like, if I'm being honest, I don't think they're paying any attention to the state of PvP right now. They might a little bit now, because they're sort of making the PvP for Elden Ring. Like, maybe they have an eye out or something. But, um... I think they paid attention, I mean, they paid attention to PvP uh, until the last patch, that's for sure. Because the last uh, few patch that Dark Souls 3 had were all catered toward PvP. They served to balance some of the game's shortcomings. For those of you who don't know, like, uh, Dark Souls 3 still went through a lot of patches. And quite frankly, a lot of good patches, like good balanced patches. Best weapon before, like Kartus Curve Sword, for instance. I uh, got nerfed to the ground maybe a bit too much, but it was by far the best weapon. It was basically PKCS, longer, infusible, 5 hit bleed proc, and fucking great sword damage. So can you imagine how broken that was? They fixed that because people like kind of complain about it and they, like, they also fixed infusions, uh, elemental infusions I should say. Elemental infusions were vastly underpowered uh, before they patched it. And uh, now, you know, dark builds are one of the best, at least uh, against people of your own level. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could make a point that, you know, Fate and Crystal are not as good, but they're still, you know, good enough to where you can definitely compete with, doesn't matter which infusion or which type of build you got, like infusion wise. But yeah, before that, it was not balanced, and even quality, like, quality builds were better in every single way than. Uh, then dex builds and then strength builds so they reintroduced like some balancing for builds uh with dex and strength being better for a variety of weapons that was not a thing before so there was a lot of uh, moving parts around they changed poise also changed some combos that could one shot like there was a lot of work that was that that was put in to patching dark souls 3 the real the only reason why why sorry why it's still cancer today is stuff like murky was actually not even known back then to be like broken and powerful like murky was discovered in like late 2018 as one of the top weapon 
it took like two years for people to actually realize that that weapon was good. And then bow glitch, we all know that. Bow glitch, actually, there's a a story about it. And it was found in 2017. I've seen the original vid myself of the dude who found it. He did not share it with anyone. He did not explore it or anything. He just kept it to himself and hoped no one found, found out. And then Mare Dreams later uh, found about it and uh, made it uh, public. And uh, if those things were known and found beforehand, we would not be here today like complaining about the PvP balance because FromSoft was on a good track, like really. Oh my god! What an escape, dude! That was a clean... That was a clean fucking pre-aim charge! Like, what the hell? God again? This is crazy. This dude. I didn't want to jump down actually. Just shred of menu behind me. Oh, I thought I would hit. Did not expect that. Again, we need to purse spam him because he's too laggy with someone lag. Yeah, look at that. That's unfortunate. It's not enjoyable when there's so much lag like that. Also, uh, weird, weird fact here. Summon lag is only a thing on consoles, apparently. 